Hales, it's got to be pretty rewarding to have eight of your nine hitters be able to get a hit tonight. It was. It was very rewarding. We were battling at the plate, and as everybody knows, we've been struggling, and you know we're competing, and uh, you know we're able to push things. Uh, you know, guys are running the bases hard and pushing the the envelope, and uh, it paid off. How important is it to have two back end relievers that you have in Bradley and Gibson that are able to get hitters out late in games? Oh, it, it, you know, it shortens the game up considerably. I mean, you know, you can look at it and say, you know, you're playing seven innings that's it and uh because the rest of them are going to dominate and uh you know they keep it going and keep them focused and uh maintain what they're capable of doing and being in control of the, their own destiny then things happen and uh they've got a little confidence in themselves now and uh you know it's gonna it's gonna take them a long ways and it's gonna take us a long ways do you kind of pay attention to the league standings because obviously you're right there at the tops of the eastern division do you, do you pay attention to that at all or do you just kind of just kind of let it go I don't even pay attention to that stuff. I don't pay attention to what happened yesterday. We learned from, you know, mistakes that we did yesterday, even though you win. And, uh, you know, the secret is is that, you know, when you're winning, you tighten the ship up really quick, okay, and you start being real picky about little stuff because they're feeling pretty good about themselves. But, uh, you know, it's a good time to start tightening things up a little and uh, make them realize that the, this is a job and we're not perfect yet and uh, nobody is. But uh, we're going to really pay attention to details and, they can take it a little more when I get on them about stuff because they're winning, but uh, that's the time to do it. Yeah, give, give them love when they're losing, but uh, when they're winning, it's time to really tighten things up. Little things that may bother me, then I start tightening things up. And, uh, you know, they can, you know, I don't want them to feel lax and feel like, hey, we got things made. No, you're, you're a long ways away yet. And that's what we are. We're, we're doing a lot of right. Yes, we are, but there's a lot of little things wrong, too, that has to be cleaned up because it – if you don't address it now, it's going to sneak up on you, and then it's going to be an issue. Yeah, it's got to be tough to keep such a young team grounded, kind of during during the midst of a winning streak, as you just said. And but you guys have done a great job of doing that and continuing to do so now. Well, it's all the process. It's you know, if, and we preach, you know, pay attention to the process, how you prepare, how you go about at bats, the information that they give you, and then, uh, you know. The winning will take care of itself. If the process isn't good and you're not paying attention to detail and you lose, you know then uh, things snowball on you. But, you know, I've seen guys where we've lost some games and we're doing a lot of little stuff right, but it's just, you know, you get beat. And the guy, you know, they, they got you today. But, uh, you know, you just got to believe in that and make sure that your day's prepared where you're, you know, going out, doing the things you're supposed to do, making sure that you learn from your mistakes and keep growing. Because the bottom line is you might win in South Bend, but you got to win in Arizona. And then tomorrow afternoon you go for the uh, the series sweep tomorrow afternoon at 2.05. And what are you expecting out of Aaron Blair, your starter, tomorrow? Well, you know how he is. I mean, he's a competitor. And he's going to go after you and he's going to attack. And he's going to make sure all his pitches are working. And he does whatever he's got to do to, you know, keep the pressure on you. And, uh, you know, we've got to go out and score runs for him. And, uh, you know, he, he's the workhorse. And we got a couple of them. But uh, he's, he's the big donkey that goes out and battles and, uh, you know, he's going to give it everything he's got, and uh, you know, wouldn't want to be facing him because he's he's feeling things. He's feeling his secondary pitches. He's feeling things, and uh, you know, how long he's going to be here? Well, we'll see. But uh, right now, he's he's here in South Bend, and people need to come out. He's he's a power horse. Mm -hmm.